morning. Um, in today's video we're going to have a look at anodizing. I did this uh, a good number of uh, years ago and it worked really well. So I've got a small piece of aluminium here. Um, just to quickly talk you through my setup. So I've got a 12 volt power supply. Uh, it's all simple stuff. But it's 12 volt power supply, um, which we might as well set now to 12 volts. Um, we've got a beaker of dilute sulfuric acid. We've got a bigger beaker full of water. Uh, we've got a graphite electrode on the cathode, on the negative. Um, positive, we're going to hold our piece of, we're going to actually clip our piece of aluminium on here. Uh, and then just over on the side here, a few test pieces. I've just got some water there to wash uh, this dye off because we've got some methyl blue dye. So first thing I want to do is just test this piece, so hold it in there for a minute. I appreciate it, I'm going to put it in for longer uh, when I've finished, but basically pop it in some water and you can see there that the dye doesn't take it all, there's a little bit of residue still on there. So the dye doesn't take it all. Uh, the reason I've just done that is because this is going to be a test. If the anodizing has worked, and when I put it in the screen methyl blue, um, it should actually um, basically adhere to the surface in the little pores that the anodizing has left. So the fact that it didn't take then is uh, a sort of just shows that this isn't an anodized piece. Got some sodium hydroxide. Um, now I was told last time that I should clean the part. So what I'm just going to do, because I'm going to have to use uh, both hands, I'm just going to pause the video, I'm just going to give this a little clean again, um, and then I'll come back and we'll dip it in the sodium hydroxide. Okay. Okay, we're back again. I've just shifted position. So I've given this a rub down, uh, just to try and remove any fingerprints. I'm going to place it in the sodium hydroxide. Now, I don't believe this is absolutely necessary. Um, again, this is only dilute sodium hydroxide. I think it's about one... Uh, one mole. Uh, you can see it is bubbling there. So it clearly is doing something. I'm just going to leave that in for a few more seconds uh, and then we'll take it out and we'll clean it off in the water. So you can see there that it is bubbling. Now last time I did it I didn't do this step. Um, it was just some advice after I tried it that some people said that it worked better after it had been in uh, caustic soda, sodium hydroxide. So let's take it out now. It only is uh, in for a few seconds. Just going to rinse that off. This is just the water, sorry, that I uh, used before. Now we're going to put it in the sulfuric acid now. Now admittedly if we've not managed to get all that sodium hydroxide off it might just fizz a little bit. Okay it's not doing so that's okay. Now that at the moment is perfect. I don't know whether we can see that. Yep, because we only want to try the end. Um, so what we're going to do now, that graphite, uh, I appreciate that graphite actually should be higher up and leaning over the edge. Let's just try and uh, set up that up a bit nicer. It's not quite got enough sodium hydroxide. To be honest, I'm just going to leave that and let that fall in like that. It doesn't really uh, make too much of a difference, as long as the two aren't touching. Okay, so we're going to set this going now. And you can see we're getting some bubbles already. So the idea is that the water in there, H2O, is breaking down and going towards the negative electrode. We're going to have, um, sorry, going towards the negative electrode, we're going to have hydrogen gas being given off. And towards the positive electrode, which is what our um, piece of aluminium is attached to, we're going to have oxygen being given off and hopefully that oxide layer uh, oxygen is going to react with the aluminium and form a nice layer of aluminium oxide which is exactly what anodizing is um, just to last last mention that um, the whole thing is in a, a, a beaker full of um, ice just to keep the whole thing cool right we're going to pause the video we're going to leave that for about half an hour maybe a little bit longer and then we'll come back Okay, well we're, uh, we're going to knock this off now, and we're going to have a look at what it looks like. So the finish on there, I don't know if you can quite see in this light actually, it's just going to be darker outside. It's definitely uh, gone a little bit dull looking, which looks good. It certainly looks like it's been, uh, been oxidised. So there you go, it's a little bit better light. So I'm just going to go and get the dye now. Um, I'm going to dip it in the dye for about 
probably about five minutes and then we'll see uh, see what it looks like when it comes out of there okay so there's my uh, there's my finished anodized part it's taken the blue dye uh, relatively well just got a bit near the, uh, the window there so it's definitely got a, a, a clear anodized blue color to it um, it's not taken it as well um, as it had last time I did this but I must admit I left it in I left it in for uh, for a lot longer last time uh, it must have been in the uh, in the electrolysis bath for a good hour that's been in for about 20 minutes but it's definitely got a nice blue anodized color to it okay thank you for watching